Chapter 6, Sparkle. I run into the house very thrilled. Mother, mother, I found friends for Noodle. I found Buzzy, the swatted fly. Plus, I also found three ants and a cheese puff. Mother looked at the friends. Oh, my. She said kind of soft. I know it, mother. I know it is oh, my. Noodle will love those guys. I know he will. After that, I quick took the jar to my room and I put it on my bed and I waited for Noodle to meet his new friends. I waited the whole entire afternoon, only Noodle never came out. At dinner time, I walked to the kitchen very slumping. Oh, Noodle's still hiding, I said. Plus the ants ate the cheese puff and Buzzy the swatted fly bit the dust. Mother lifted me into the chair. She put stew on my plate. Yeah, only how can I even eat stew? Cause I'm all depressed. I tell you, I said. Just then, someone opened the front door. It was my grandma, Helen Miller. She was bringing the ice chest back, and guess what? There was a giant fish in that thing. <gasps> my eyes popped out of my head. Grandma Miller, Grandma Miller, that fish is almost as big as me, I said, real thrilled. Grandma Miller looked proud of herself. It's called a large mouth bass, she said. He's a beaut, isn't he? He is, Grandma. He is a beaut. Look at how shiny his skin is. Let's name him Sparkle. Want to, huh, Grandma? Want to name him Sparkle? Grandma Miller laughed. <laughs> name him whatever you want, sweetie, she said. We've got three more in the truck, just like him. Come on, everybody. Come see them. That's how come Mother and Daddy went out to the truck. Only not me. Because I wanted to stay with Sparkle, that's why. I waved at that guy in the ice water. Hello, Sparkle. How are you doing today? I said, I'm fine. Are you fine too? I patted his head. Want to swim, Sparkle? Huh? Want to swim in the freezy water? After that, I got down on my knees and I swimmed him all around. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I wish you were my fish, Sparkle. If you were my fish, I would take you to school for show and tell and you would be the star of the show. <gasps> Just then I got goosebumps on my skin because that was the bestest idea I ever heard of. Sparkle, hey Sparkle, maybe you can come to pet day with me. And then here's a picture of Junie B swishing Sparkle around. I wonder if she's going to take him to pet day. Because you are way better than my pet jar. After that, I lifted that big guy right out of the water. Only too bad for me, because Sparkle fell on the floor. Oh dear, I said, you are a chubby one, Sparkle. And so how will I even get you to school? That's what I would like to know. Just then, I saw Tickle's dog leash. It was hanging over the chair. I danced all around the kitchen. A leash, Sparkle, a leash is the answer to our problem. After that, I quick grabbed the leash and I put it over Sparkle's head and I pulled him all around the floor. He slid as easy as pie. Just then, the back door opened. Genevieve Jones, what in the world do you think you're doing? It was Mother. She was back from the truck, apparently. I think I'm sliding Sparkle, I said, kind of nervous. Um, we're practicing for pet day? Mother shook her head real fast. Mm -mm. Oh no, no way, Missy. You are not taking that fish to pet day, she said. Yes, Mother. Yes way. I have to. I have to take Sparkle. I love the slippery guy. Please, Mother. Please, please. Mother did some deep breathing. <sighs> then she sat down next to me and she made her voice not yell. Okay. I want you to listen to me very closely, she said. I know you like this fish, and I know you would like to take him to school for pet day, but pet day is for live pets, Junie B. And maybe you don't realize this, but the, the thing is, honey, Sparkle is dead. I nodded my head. Hmm, not a problem, I said. Mother did a frown. Not a problem? What do you mean, not a problem? Of course it's a problem. You can't take a dead, dead fish to school. I raised my eyebrows at her. Hmm, how come? Is it in the rules? I asked. No, of course it's not in the rules, said Mother. I smiled. Good, then I can take him, I said. 
After that, Mother stared at me real lo a real long time. Then she closed her eyes, and she put her head on the placemat, and she didn't eat her stew. 